Bad Boys 4. Will Smith is back. What's poppin' everybody? Episode 22. Let's do this. Uh, the latest in Funko News, entertainment, and sports. There's actually quite a bit in Funko News happening since our special Tuesday edition of What's Poppin' this week. Yep. First of all, Funko Shop exclusive that dropped was the uh, 85th anniversary Wizard of Oz. They got a bunch of new pops happening. Mm -hmm. And they did a Dorothy with Toto Sepia. Sure. I had to Google that. Yeah. It's reddish brown, like a black and white old sepia. movies. Sepia. Sepia? Sepia? Not sepia? Sepia. Sepia. This, this sepia. is so confusing. Sepia tone. Sepia tone. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Uh, it's a cool looking exclusive. It looks old. Yeah. Gives it an old timey feel. Gotcha. Uh, with sepia. Sepia. Did I get it right this time? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, also, the Star Wars NFT dropped on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So we have to talk about that. We're not going to do a, a whole show about it because we already did one leading up to the Star Wars drop. Right. They did 65,000 packs, 35 standard, 30K premium. Mm -hmm. uh, they did not sell out. We predicted in that show it'd be about half. Mm -hmm. They actually sold a little bit more than half. They burned just shy of 24,000 packs. Um, I think that they should have done 40,000 total. Mm -hmm. I think it would have sold out. More chances at redeemables for everybody. Yeah. We tried to get some. We whiffed. Struck out. Got absolutely nothing. And mm -hmm. I'm sure a lot of other people did just because of how many packs there were in the same amount of redeemables. Yeah. It's less chances for everybody. Yeah. So. Getting greedy. The the cards, the actual digital um, NFT cards themselves were pimp. Yeah. It's a lot of lightsaber stuff. They're, they're, they were really cool. All right. But. These being deluxe for the first time for mm -hmm. NFT redeemables, yeah, it actually sold relatively well. Yeah. I just think they made too many packs. Too many packs, yeah. So mm -hmm. they did tease that the next run of NFTs will be. Get ready, yeah. My Little Pony, mm -hmm. seventy-five thousand right? packs. You're a brony. Uh, who is? We're gonna get no eighty thousand packs. I love. I love the corns. <laughs> What does that mean? Huh? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Unicorns. Oh, unicorns. That Come was on. short for unicorns. Yeah, yeah. You like the corns. Yeah. I didn't know there was an That was one of the best parts of Central Intelligence. Remember oh, the yeah, rock was wearing that. The brony shirt. The, yeah, yeah, the unicorn shirt. Yeah. It was just That's like, funny. oh, yeah, I love the corns. Love the corns. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the other one that I think people will be excited about yeah. uh, is WB Horror. That one will be cool. That That'll one cool. they yeah. could do very well. They've already done it. Yeah. Uh, but they said that it could also be involved in this. Po other possibilities are Annabelle, the Conjuring franchise, La Jorona, mm -hmm. uh, The Exorcist, The Nun, and Lost Boys is technically a WB horror. Yeah, that'd, so that'd be cool. That would be interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, there was a ton of coming soon announced this week mm -hmm. in Funko in this short amount of time since our, our other What's Poppin' show. Yeah. Um, we finally got sneak peeks at the glams for new Pokemon pops. Sure. Greninja does look cool. Fire. Looks like uh, it's, I'll give you that one. Now the other, I haven't seen it. Now the other two. <laughs> fire. Yeah. <laughs> They're not fire. All right. That's what they look like. Snubble. Amazing. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. He looks like a, a bulldog. He is, yeah. Snubble. Rochi. Okay. And uh, Chimchar, which I, <laughs> I just, I love the name. Chimchar. Just, Chimchar. Makes me want to go to uh, go to a Mexican restaurant yeah. and get a whole thing of chimchars. Chimchars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, new Pokemon glams. Uh, five new in you in your washer. Oh, yeah. In your washer. In your washers, yeah. Uh, and five new Berudo Pops, because it's been five minutes since they announced new anime. Perfect. So we're getting all we're getting new ones for those. People are getting pissed. Where's all the anime? This is Rebel Rebel Moon Wave 2. I didn't even know people liked Wave One. This Netflix movie, which is a Star Wars ripoff, yeah, just didn't do very well. I, I don't even think it was him. critically. He wrote it to be Star Wars. Yeah, but they didn't. They didn't make it. Oh, so then he did it as his own. Yeah. So it's I. If you liked Rebel Moon, all the power to you. But I have no interest in watching what is essentially a failed Star Wars plot that uh, that Disney didn't want. Um, and Lucasfilm didn't want, so you, you made it, it on your own through Netflix. Yeah, and so now we're getting a wave two of Funko Pops nah, for this 
movie. I haven't watched it. And there's going to be a Rebel Moon Part 2 dropping on Netflix, like, soon, right? All right. Whatever. All right. Leaked photo of some Christmas ornaments, Funko Mm. Christmas ornaments, for this year, and there's one that caught my attention. All right. Holographic Leia. Cool. It lights up Mm -hmm. and plays the dialogue from the scene Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. You're my own, no. and just well, you push okay. the button on it. All right, that's kind of cool. I want that on my tree. Okay, that's cool. That's I cool. I want it. It's not really fits into the streamline, <laughs> you know, but lean startup. Lean startup, but again, that's it's cool though. So I'll give you that. People who are fans of Panic at the Disco mm-hmm. can get a Brendan Yuri Demon Pop coming soon. Cool. All right. Uh, we showed off on the Tuesday show. There's um, new Stitch Pops dressed in other Disney character costumes. Mm-hmm. So those look cool. But announced um, just a day or two ago was a box lunch exclusive of Stitch dressed as Gus Gus, mm-hmm. uh, the mouse. Uh, that's fire. That people are Gus Gus is a legend. Gus Gus is a legend. So that is pretty cool. Gus Gus who drives the bus. We pretty, all know. Just make his own pop. Pretty yeah. cool. There's no Gus Gus pop. There is Gus Gus with slipper. Oh, that's true. Yeah, and Lindsay B actually just got it and posted. Uh, she got it from the shop. It's mm-hmm. an older pop and po- uh, tagged us in a story about it. Gotcha. Uh, that she owns now the Gus Gus with slipper. Just saying. I just want a full. You just saw a full Gus Gus. All right. All right. Uh, Project Fred. Now, before we get to the positive notes of what's coming soon, we must talk about the leak teaser for the next Project Fred. The first Uh, one, we hit on pretty hard. Yeah. Mostly because of the price. Yeah. So the next ones are coming, and Mm -hmm. they're going to be Coca-Cola products, Coca-Cola and Sprite. And these are basically artist series wraps where they take the one uh logo and they wrap it around remember yeah. the artist series yeah so this is coca-cola and sprite artist series it's still gonna have a one in ten chance at a chase limited 750 piece like the bob's big boy yeah. project fred yeah um uh, and it's still gonna be 295 dollars usd jesus i don't even know it's so expensive i don't even get it I don't get it. I don't and even get it. are going to even... launch them together? So you're going to spend $600 USD to try and get both? And the chases are shit. Yeah, yeah I, just, chases, I, don't even, uh... I don't even get it. I know there's massive Coke collectors. I get that. That's true. There are. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. <laughs> oh, Coca-Cola. But uh, Sprite? Are there, yeah. are there huge Sprite? People? I mean, it's a Coca-Cola product. No, uh, we know that, but... but... Uh, they, I... I... I, yeah, it I, should have been a Freddy holding, co- wearing, holding and yeah. wearing a Coke uh, a smock. Uh, you could have done it like the Bob's Big Boy yeah. Project Fred. I think doing artist series wraps yeah. for a three hundred dollar USD figure, and you're getting going to get two of them. It, it doesn't even make any sense. I don't know. The last yes. one did sell out. I think they fibbed about how many people were in the queue to buy them, but they did sell out. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure these will sell out. Not anymore. You don't I don't think know. these are going to sell I out? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. You think people were like, okay, that was cool, but now I'm not going to get yep. the rest of these? I don't. time Coke's even seen the design, they're like, nope. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> the no. comments are hilarious. So yeah. uh, look at the comments online, diss trackers. Uh, air, just read the comments. About this leak, because I don't know this. I don't even get it. I, I it doesn't don't, make any sense. It just, I they could have done it as like the like the big boy yeah. Project Fred, and there's Coke products being worn and held. Yeah, I don't think doing an artist rap one is the way to do this. No, that's especially at this. I hope not. I hope not. We'll see. I guess we'll see. But um, all right, so let's leave let's it on. Move on. Let's just not worry about it. Okay. They're just they're pretty much garbage. Now let's end this segment with positivity because there are two things that got announced coming soon. Mm-hmm. Super excited about. Okay, one more Sopranos pops. Always right? good. Always good. Christopher Santi, We're getting a different version of him and his his uh, girlfriend, wife. Did they get married in the series? I think they did. I don't remember. Anyway, I love the actress. I don't yeah. know if we necessarily needed the yeah. the pop, but it's it's fine. Yeah. The two other two, Tony Soprano in a suit. Yep. Yeah. Because the last one was like kind of leisure clothes, and then it was him in his robe. Was the right. Amazon exclusive? Right. 
This might be the best one in the entire set. Yeah. Junior. Oh yeah. Uncle Junior Soprano. Junior Soprano is the best. Yeah. 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 That, and, that pops amazing. Him and Vinny Fishes go way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, are, junior, you guys are tight. Yeah. Junior is such a great pop. That yeah. is so positivity radiating through this portion of the show. There you go. That is awesome. Okay. Okay. Good. And finally, yeah. Specialty series two pack Cheech and Chong. Yeah, I didn't know that I was a two pack. So, so uh, yeah, they kind of teased it um, Wednesday, and we thought it might be individual pops. Yeah, because they just showed the glam of the pops, not boxes. And yeah. then on the Thursday, we saw that it's going to be a specialty series two pack, which makes sense because we would have sold it as a set anyway. Yeah, totally. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. a two pack specialty series exclusive, not common. Mm -hmm. We will get these. Mm -hmm. Full show, we'll hook you guys up. Oh, yeah. And we're going to get a lot of them, and it's amazing because they, they've only ever done Cheech and Chong as a vinyl mm -hmm. two-pack. They've never had it as Funko Pops. Yeah. So very excited, Cheech and Chong. Mm -hmm. And if they were smart, mm -hmm. which they're not, mm -hmm. they drop it on 420. Oh. Next month. That would be impressive. But they won't. They won't. They'll drop it. They'll drop it in, for in Christmas or Halloween or, <laughs> you know, whatever. But I'm glad they're making them. Yeah. And in entertainment. Let's go. We already talked about the box office earlier in the week. Yeah. And the the we know that uh, uh, Godzilla X Kong, the new empire is opening in theaters this weekend. Mm -hmm. We talked about the top three in the box office from last weekend. Ghostbusters coming in first. But there's something that we missed. Fourth place was Immaculate. Yes. Which is uh, Sydney Sweeney's horror movie. Yeah. Which she wanted to get made really bad. Made $5.3 million. Only cost $9 million to uh, to produce it. Yeah. It was like a project she really wanted off the ground. She couldn't do it. And then finally, because of her, yeah. what she's, her stardom is like right now, yeah. she was able to, she's producing the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as well as starring in it. And apparently it's good. Yeah, it's already I, I, at... I'm not a huge horror guy, yeah, but... Well, eight million worldwide already. It only cost nine million to make. I might make an exception because Sydney Sweeney's in it. There I might go. watch a horror movie. There you go. Just because Sydney Sweeney's in Brian it. McGregor shot it right we'll on see. The red carpet the other day. He oh, did? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, about her new movie. Yeah. Oh, all right. All right. Cool, cool. Like Conor McGregor yeah, likes his... DMs. All right. Nice, yeah, nice, 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 watch nice. out for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, this weekend, we already know what's going to win the box office. It's yeah. Godzilla X Kong. Yeah. So it's already won it. And they're both teaming up. They're teaming we up. learned yep. from B-Money. Yeah. They're teaming up to take on another mega monster. Two mega monsters. Two? Is it the Megalodon? <laughs> that would be interesting. <laughs> Who is Statham yeah. Stath 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 going to be there? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be sweet if the next movie, they bring him in. Yeah. 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 Well, so what's what? Uh, Star King is the. Ape. Oh, okay. We knew that yeah. from the Funko Shop. Shimo yeah. is the other dragon. All right, like got they, it. They've been teasing. Okay. Uh, so this will be a double battle royale yep. in the movie theater. Destroying all the cities. Everything will get destroyed. There, I wouldn't even have if I if you were smart, you just have an insane amount of property insurance. Yeah, yeah. How do you rebuild after? <laughs> how that? How do you rebuild like, after like, a Godzilla? Attack? Yeah, like I it's not. Know. It's not great. It's not you know? be good. So, but it is what it is. Yeah. So. Uh, there's also a new documentary about Nickelodeon. Uh, yeah. got to recommend it. Uh, sure. It's called Quiet on the Set. If yeah. you have not heard about it, you've not been on social media, we're not going to say more about it, because we and we're not going to make any jokes about it, but you guys need to watch it. It is what everyone is talking about right now. So watch the new documentary called Quiet on Set in Canada. Mm. Uh, I thought it might be on Crave because it's an HBO yeah. Max, but I actually found it on Discovery Plus in Canada. That's weird. So, it's weird that it's on there, but that's all right. The, that's the only place I could find it, but highly recommend watching it. All right, I'll okay. get it. I'll get on it. Next. Uh, and a bunch of new trailers. Yeah. So the new Star Wars Acolyte. Yeah, we forgot to mention it on the last show. Mm -hmm. It looks good. Yep. New series. It's kind of OG Jedi stuff. It looks all right. Yeah. I'm in. I'm in. Uh, another Aliens movie, Romulus. Yeah, I hope. I don't know. And pray it's better than Prometheus. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of done but with the Alien franchise personally. It might be a little too done. Yeah. yeah but we'll see. We'll kinda, see. I'm kind of done with it. People but... do love Alien Predator franchises. Yeah. Uh, prey was good. Yeah. I, I'll know. give you that. I liked Prey. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. And of course, yeah, June seventh, 
<laughs> the new Bad Boys. Yeah. So we saw a trailer this week. The trailer looks good. Yeah. I'm interested. I'm interested. I mean, it's Bad Boys. It's Bad Boys. But I mean, what I thought is absolutely hilarious. Yeah. Okay. Is that before the Oscar slap? Yeah. And Will Smith's like doing King Richard, and he's just about to get uh, his Oscar. Yeah. And then he's not returning Martin Lawrence's phone calls. He's and he's like, man, bro, we got to do a, another Bad Boys movie. He's ignoring him. He's letting he's letting those all go unread, right? <laughs> then Alleged, sla- allegedly, and then he slaps Chris Rock, yeah. and the whole world went, oh. Shit. <laughs> and then he's a pariah socially, just yeah. like nobody wants to work with him. Like, yeah, they're anyway. doing they're doing Big Mama's House five together <laughs> you know They're like let's launch it back up so after the blue, slap blue streak two <laughs> after the slap he's dm and martin lawrence going sorry man bad boys let's do this <laughs> it looks it's, good it does look good you know yeah and bad it, boys for, this one's called uh ride or die ride or die ride and it looks die. like they put some money into it yep so the funny thing i noticed from the trailer mm. is that at martin lawrence's house yeah. reggie's there yeah, yeah do you yeah. remember in bad boys two when yeah. Reggie comes to the door to take yeah. Martin Lawrence's daughter yeah. and Will Smith and him grill him, yeah, yeah, that's one of the funniest scenes yeah. from Bad Boys Two. So apparently, yeah. Reggie s- marries yeah. Martin Lawrence's daughter, and he's in this movie. I was like, oh, that's Reggie. That's a cool throwback. That's cool. I'm in. Yeah, and I- anything with Joey Pants. Joey Pants. Will Smith run. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I am all for it. Yeah. <laughs> Joey Pants is in it. It's all that matters. It's all that matters. And in sports, just a bit offside with K-Dog and Fish, Major League Baseball opening day was on Thursday. Yep. Season openers. Uh, I don't have a lot of faith in the Blue Jays. <laughs> they, they tend to disappoint us all every single year. They're basically yeah. the Dallas Cowboys of baseball. Well, I don't know. If they literally um, just they they do so well in the regular season. Yeah. They go to the playoffs, and then they just... Choke yeah. like Draymond Green. Yeah, I mean, mm. <laughs> chokes people. That's pretty close. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm yeah, hoping the Blue maybe, Jays maybe, can maybe, do maybe. it. Uh, you never know. But going into this, uh, you know, and there's still there's now uh, you know 161 more games to go. Yeah, you're good to go. You got yeah. a long season. Yeah. But uh, uh, I would say the toughest division, mm. looking at it as an outsider, beginning of the season is the NL West. Right. Uh, it's got the Rockies. The Diamondbacks, who surprised everybody and went to the World Series last year. Mm. Also in that division, the Padres, the San Francisco Gi- Giants, and the LA Dodgers. Yeah. All in one division. Like, that is insane. That's going to be a very tough division. Yeah. And the Dodgers, I just want to touch on this briefly, yeah. was the Shohei Otani press conference. Yeah. And all that with the stuff with his interpreter. Yeah, I don't know what's going uh, on with that. I, 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 I'm not even going to talk about yeah. why and all that stuff. I only bring this up because the Dodgers gave Shohei Otani $700 million contract. Right. The highest ever. So you need this guy. Yeah. He is a unicorn. Yeah. Hopefully that all plays out that it's, you know, just whatever with the interpreter and they're going to uh, clear him. Shohei's going to play and it'll yeah. be fine. They're going to clear him because they need him they in the league. Him. In, the no, league. It's the not league just the him. Dodgers. No, the, the league, league needs, needs him. him. Yeah. So. so regardless of yeah. whatever happens, speculation, I don't give a shit. I'm mm. just saying I only bring this up too because the funniest video I ever saw in my entire life mm. was the day that this happened. Yeah. And Shohei Otani did his press conference. Yeah. Then Pete Rose went no. on on social media. Yeah. Did you see that? No, no, no. And he did a video and says, I wish I had an interpreter back in those days. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. And if you know why Pete Rose is not in the Hall of Fame, that is hilarious. That is hilarious. That is funny. Uh, all, right, nice. all right, on to the NBA. Hmm. The Golden State Warriors, after playing the Miami Heat on Tuesday, Draymond Green choke, arm choked, Patty Mills and threw him to the ground. He deserved it. He only got a regular foul. <laughs> not a flagrant, not an ejection. Come on. Just a foul. Come on, Draymond. The next night yeah. on Wednesday, Warriors are playing the Magic, and Draymond gets ejected in the first four minutes by just shit talking the refs. <laughs> so tell me, are they, uh. were the refs making up for the chokehold the night before they got missed? Uh, I don't know, but he got ejected four minutes in the game, which fired up Steph Curry, yeah. who's got to be pissed because it's like, dude, what else are you going to do? Yeah. Like, it's 
Well, he's got to be getting pretty close point. to a suspension. How many technical? He's already been suspended. Yeah, but but he got suspended for something choking else. choking someone. Well, yeah, but 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 if you get, I don't even know what it is, but you get so many technicals, you get a suspension. You get a suspension. Yeah. He's got to be there by now. Uh, so my yeah. question to you is, yeah. as a sports fan, is Draymond Green yeah. this generation's Bill Lambeer? Probably. Right? Yeah. yeah. yeah no. I would say Bill Lambeer yeah, was pretty a good. Yeah. Se- semi-talented uh, power forward center. Hey, be careful. He watches the show. Bill Lambeer does? Yeah, yeah. Uh, probably not. Big big fan. Um, big, <laughs> big fan. Big Bill fan. Bill Lambeer. Big fan. Uh, talented guy. Yeah. Huge part of the the bad boys. Yeah, hey, he uh, got back-to-back the, rings. Detroit Pistons. Mm-hmm. But he was more known for his brutalness. Yeah, he was a bit of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> that he was his basketball play. Yeah. And purposely hurting players, getting ejected, like the stuff that went on back then. Yeah. The rest let all that kind of stuff go. Oh, back then you could just get away what with that. What he did to Jordan. Oh, the Jordan rules and everything. Like all of that. Is <laughs> is Draymond Green approaching Bill Lambeer level of brutality? Maybe. All it's right. actually a really good documentary on the bad boys. It's uh, ESPN uh, nice. 30 for 30. I watched it about a couple months ago. It's really yeah, good. got to yeah. watch it. Yeah, check it out. Check it out. They were a great team. Yeah. Uh, playoffs are starting soon, so we'll get yeah. into that. Same yeah. with the NHL. Playoffs are starting soon, so we'll get more into uh, NHL as the playoffs start. Right. But I do have to say one thing. Pal Marino actually pointed this out to me. Mm. I I didn't realize it, that um, Ovechkin is less than 50 goals away from breaking Wayne Gretzky's all-time record in goals. That's crazy. At 894, that's the record. He's less than 50 away now from beating that record. So no matter how old Ovechkin gets, he's yeah. still putting in goals. Yeah. Ever since that post where he said he's 50 away, yeah. he scored two more goals. Yeah, he's a beast. So I think he's going to play until he has that record. Yeah. And then I wouldn't be shocked if he just re- re- retired. Right there on the ice. Right there. Just like, I got yeah. the record. Got the record. I'm out. Almost like yeah. Bernie Mac in Mr. 3000. Yeah, just drops he got the, stick. the hit. Yeah. He drops the bat. Yeah, yeah. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Yeah. I'm retired. Yeah. Uh, and the NFL, quickly, a couple of more moves in free agency. Jadavian Clowney signed a two-year contract. Uh, with the Panthers, mm-hmm. I remember when he was the number one pick overall. Yeah, everyone thought he was going to be amazing. He's still a he's still a great defensive player. He's got injury. He's issues. injury prone. Yeah, so they're going to give him a two year deal for twenty million, which could be worth up to twenty four million. He's still a beast on the line, so you got to you got. Now he's on the Panthers, but the Panthers suck. The Panthers suck. Yeah, that's so yeah whatever. Uh, one interesting fact is I think. Ezekiel Elliott could end up back on the Dallas Cowboys. Well, they need a running back. They didn't do anything during free agency. Yeah. Tony Pollard's gone. Yeah. Uh, they have no running backs. I heard Emmett Smith's coming to try out. <laughs> How but old is Emmett Smith? I think he's like 58. Barry Sanders is going to be like there. they have no running back. Yeah, they're they have no running back. Tony so, Pollard's. I don't even where did he go? Somewhere uh, I don't remember. I can't remember offhand. Yeah, he's yeah. gone. Yeah, he's gone. I he's know. one of the big five big free agent uh, <sighs> running backs that went to other teams. Yeah. and and the Dallas Cowboys did nothing. No, so yeah, they gotta they get might, something. They might draft, but I it, if they're smart, they could get. Uh, I think uh, Dalvin Cook yeah. is still available. Maybe. Yeah, the Jets cut him. And yeah. Ezekiel Elliott. Yeah. Ezekiel yeah. Elliott could come back and play for the Cowboys. And it'd be a bit of like a hey, we're sorry. Do you want to come <laughs> you wanna come back? Sorry about the whole letting you It'd go. be cool. I like Ezekiel but, Elliott. Yeah, yeah. That'll be interesting. Yeah. Also, the draft is coming up. And uh something that happened this week that was funny is LSU had a pro day. Yeah. One of the top uh projected quarterbacks uh is Jaden Daniels. Yeah. And at the LSU Pro Day, he's throwing balls, and yeah. the press noticed and took pictures yeah. that his elbow was f***ed. Yeah, how did no one it ever looks, notice that? It is absolutely weirdest elbow. It looks weird. So the New York Times or the New York Post uh, it like started sending out info to like doctors yeah. and pictures, and they think he has bursitis. Yeah. So if he's got an inflamed bursitis sack on his elbow, mm-hmm. and it looks so weird... Are you gonna? Is that gonna drop his draft class? You should have worn long sleeves during your pro day. Well, they're gonna find out eventually. <laughs> you know, well, they have to do a medical. Yeah, exactly. All yeah. the rookies have to do medicals. Yeah, but maybe so. that gives them like 
like superhuman <laughs> strength, like you know, rookie of the year rookie stuff. Rookie of the year, you know, maybe he can just that wing was a great it because he's got extra power. So the bursitis is just like he's just got he extra could, elbow to just go oof. ninety yard touchdowns. Yeah, all right. I don't know much maybe. about. I don't know much about bursitis. Maybe you know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but that'll be interesting to see how his uh, how he drafts in April. Yeah. So anyway, that's it. All the latest in Funko news, entertainment, and sports. You guys tell us in the comments what your favorite part was of today's show. We appreciate you. Episode 22 in the books. Yep. Uh, until next time, I'm Fish. Hey, dog. See you again soon. Man, I'm glad I didn't get on head of the class. <laughs>